How we doing, everybody? Eddie Sounded coming back at you once again here. Would you look at what we've got in store today? We're back at NR2003, jumping into that time machine once again. And not just because this game is older than dirt, we have a chaotic combo on our hands. We've got the 2022 next-gen cars lined up, ready to go, including the race winner from this past week and the hometown kid, Chase Elliott, who are going to try to get a W today at Dega. And not just any Dega, this is 80s talent, dang it. This place will snatch your soul, chew it up, and and spit it out. They don't even have walls all the way around this place for crying out loud. And on top of that, these AI have been instructed to race with no regard for human life. I know the next gen's bad for concussions. We might get a couple of them here today because these AI are going to be doing 230 miles an hour. They're going to be racing inches apart from each other. And all we got to do is watch it all unfold, which in fact, I want to watch the AI try this first. All right. Well, good luck, you little guinea pigs. As they go off into turn one, I have a feeling this is going to go badly. Me times 37 oh i heard a scrape i heard another scrape oh we got a flip we got a wreck in the back who done it hamrick chastain harrison getting a little close together here yes hamrick burton bash off the inside wall then back up across the track and he kills his teammate that's a calling ko right there across the board just took out the back markers See this one from the seat there. Yeah, I just got kind of hooked. Could have turned right at any point there, and that probably would have held, but uh, I guess this was another option that was worth trying out. That would have hurt. Oh, they almost did it again. Bell and Larson testing fate there. I don't know that I would want to do that right now, boys. We saw how that went once. Oh, is this Cody Ware? Cody, what are you doing? Get the hell out of the way, you bum. You just, yeah, look how they massacred my boy. Look how they killed my field. They just broke it into two packs. Get out of the way. What are you doing? Now this really looks like an 80s race today with everybody all spread out. It's going to be a war for the, oh, Larson blows up as soon as I switch to his camera. You cannot script that. Oh, Hendrick engines, baby. What is you doing? The tandem draft is back, folks. Let it be known. Ty Gibbs is making it work with Suarez, or at least he was until he pulls out on him on the white flag lap. Last lap of this 10 lap shoot out in their side by side. This is all they want to see behind them. Eric Jones just needs to get into that corner panel and he's going to do it. Denny Evans going to push him there. Oh my word. You guys blew it. You guys had that one. All you had to do was stay lined up. And now Eric Jones might have blown it. Oh, typical. Here comes Denny Hamlin through on the bottom. He must have just barely got it if he did. We're going to have to go look at the replay of that one. What a finish after all that. This is too real for Eric Jones. I know he lost the April Dagger race in the tri-oval. Then the October one somewhere on the last lap. And now this, the poor guy. It looked pretty clear, but I'm going to slow it down a little bit more just to be absolutely sure that indeed Dennis Hamlin... The Deliverminator did indeed snipe that one at the line. Damn you, Denny. See that bottom line to keep it low. Unlike Custer back there, who I knew he was going to get McDowell. He almost did. He still tried to do it. And where the hell is Bubba going? What is going on? We just had two wrecks happen at once. And one of them for no good reason. And now it's just one big wreck. And hold on to some because here we go. We got the simultaneous death roll of Larson and Reddick. Bubba had no reason to do what he did. I don't know what that was. We got to see this from the eyes of Reddick, seeing that he went about 40 feet in the freaking air at the end of this thing after he digs into the grass, which is probably why this grass no longer exists now. So you can't get Rusty Wallace down here, which is definitely a better thing for all of humanity, especially in a next gen car. God forbid white flag out for the couple of cars that are still left running out there. Let's see the top 10 as they run final lap. Eric Almirola trying to play the spoiler. No playoff banner, no problem. 
Behind him runs the fake Alex Bowman, which if we're keeping things historically accurate is actually Noah Gragson. And knowing him, he's probably thrown up on himself eight to nine times already. And if he hasn't, he will now because he's going for the lead out of turn four and he's got it. Can he block Elm Roloff? Yes, he will. Now there's a long way to go. Obviously, you know, the commentator saying every freaking time the finish line has moved a little bit further down. Will it even matter here? No, it will not. And just like that, no Grax's his life changes forever. Chase, what are you doing? You're gonna make me get in there? This is a true fine, I'll do it myself moment if there ever was one. I've seen enough. The AI, you tried, you had two great chances, you blew both of them, you came close on the second one, but I can see I'm gonna have to get the job done my damn self. Here comes the bush, Cody, take it. Take it, no, take it up, come on, man. Oh, here we go, here we go, brakes, nope, mate, gas it, gas, nope, <laughs> nope, just nope. And over the wall go a couple of cars, Jesus. This really is 80s day, guy. I forgot that could even happen. All right. Great cases being made for catch fences here today. Forgot him. Oh, and then added ass pack from Custer. Thank you. Give me some draft. They're wrecking. There we go. Maybe. Maybe they're not. I can't see a damn thing. Everybody's wrecking. Now I can see. I wish I couldn't. Right through the middle. Oh, come on. That's mostly clean. If I didn't punt playing like a football at the end there, I'd count it. You will get a view of this thing as it forms and comes right towards us down in the tri-oval. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cars ahead of the wreck. That's about all that made it through cleanly. So that was a 29 car accident right there. What if this is like those old Toyota Sponsifier commercials where Chase is just strapped into this, holding on for dear life because I'm actually controlling it. He's got to be crapping himself all throughout that. And if only a Blaney had been that last block and we would have made it. Oh, come on, hold the wheel straight. You can take a little baby push like that. Oh, Castle, I'm sorry. I am I am very sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of what I meant about the whole no walls going around the whole place. Oh my God, what happened to Castle over there? We hung him, we killed him, oh my God. Castle, you poor soul. I know it's October, but this is a little too spoopy even for me. What do we even do about this? Someone get Sir Isaac Newton on the phone. We need answers. We may never see Castle ever again. He might just be stuck up there now. False alarm on Castle, by the way. He's up there on the high side, alive and well, at least for now. There's a little pack job. We got him wrecking all over the place. Keep your lanes. Keep me going. Cast me in the next days of thunder. No balls, you fucking won't. How the tables have turned, dude. I'm fighting Castle for spots there. Oh, we're gonna fight for a lot more. We're gonna fight for our life here. He tried to kill me. That was almost Castle's revenge. That was inches from working. Well, the last laugh is gonna land on Landon's head. Unless Logano got me right there, which would have been hilarious. That was a little closer than it needed to be. But there we go. We get a top five out of the whole deal, which still isn't a win, which still makes me a bum. While I will admit this one is going to start off with quite a pack to JJ Yelly. That looked a lot heavier in the seat than it did from up above. But come on right through the middle of it all. You got to give that some credit. So sketchy on exit though. Oh, sorry, 62, please. No, damn it, Busher. I was almost past that. Oh, the 17 gave me a little karma bomb for what I did. The 62 and the 42 flying and twisted down the track. And that 
that's going to start the tumble. And it will not stop for quite some time. So hold on and prepare yourself for a concussion protocol because that is almost certainly where we're headed when this is all said and done. There we go. I think I might have timed this Kyle Busch restart perfectly. Just give me a lane up here, please. And they do. We are going to have a huge gain. We are going to make massive gains here. It's not illegal. Throw a flag if it's illegal. Nobody's doing it. Nobody's throwing a flag. It's all legal, folks. That's all Kyle Busch doing one time. Count it. Now I'm going to push Reki all the way to a dub. Or to our death. One of the two. Oh, it's looking like our death. There he goes. Literally on command. <laughs> Nowhere to go. Ty Gibbs is flipping over the big one. God, the one time I nail that start, you're going to blow it up in my face. Do I dare put Castle 5 wide after what we've done to him today? I don't even have the stones for that. Hell no, they're gonna wreck on their own anyway, doing four wide. Somebody's not even using the track up here. Gillen, get on the track! See, this is what happens. Everybody acts stupid. People aren't even using the track. I got guys coming down across my nose. What do you expect? Gillen, let's get the hell back up there. Oh, and they're checking up. I ain't checking up. Make me a lane, Joey. I am coming through. Make a couple of them. <laughs> Look out back there. Oh, I think they saved that right there. I can't tell for sure because I'm looking through the tiny ass mirror, but I think they held on to it. What heroes? Come on, Kyle. You, me, Tandem City. I saw it working earlier. Don't go on the apron. What are you? All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's just drive five miles an hour in front of the whole field. Maybe you have to scrape the entire right side of my car off down the cage. Thank you very much for that. I'm going to lose every single spot I ever had. Mark that as one in the loss column for Tandem Drafting. Someone up here is missing half their car and once again just flying up in front of everybody and i got a flying v formation in front of me i can't go anywhere yeah let's break that pack up even more that's what we needed an even more spread out race to end this thing all right it's it's time to pull the fist out it's time to hurt some feelings truex you don't even have a playoff banner you're a stooge get lost chastain i do believe you have some history with this nine car i will push you to the ends of the earth and the wall How's your neck feeling? I will give you whiplash and pass. I'll put you in concussion protocol one way or the other. I'll give you a bump draft that you'll never forget. And I'll never forget if these lappers get in my damn way of trying to win this thing. I have talked too much trash to lose now. I am in way too deep. You're just going to have to give me my dub. Get the hell out of my way. You even look at you, Admiral. You messed up the picture for the photographers by getting in front of me. Now you got to tell me how my ass tastes. Well, there you go. We did it. We got the dub that the AI could not. And all it took was sacrificing Ty Gibbs and Landon Castle and a couple other guys a couple of times and we made out like a bandit. And I only ended up looking kind of stupid. Well, don't be fooled. It says we're on board with Kurt Busch, but this is actually Ty Gibbs. And uh, Kurt Busch is very happy he's not in this car right now given his current circumstances. Ty Gibbs, unfortunately, being sacrificed like the young pup he is. Then we have the tandem gone wrong. A push, a shot to the apron. Cole Custer, also a victim. Oh, I didn't even see this part, though. And then Brad comes flying in out of nowhere. Brad and joining Rex six minutes after the fact. Name a more iconic duo and then more of it down in the corner. Oh, can we get one more? Yaley wants to be a part of it, too. There we go. Then we have Denny Hamlin with two thirds of his car missing calling in the rolling roadblock on the leaders and it worked to perfection now things work out perfectly down here as we side draft chastain all the way up to the high groove the bottom groove gets blocked making it a two horse race we're able to slide in front of the one and almarola pretends he's in a photo finish with us just so his day isn't so sad and with that i don't know about you guys but i feel like an accomplished individual we set out on a journey to complete a task and we had to watch the AI mess it up a little bit first we wanted to watch them be the guinea pigs but once they certified that the AI were indeed insane and this track was confirmed to be a steel cage match and it was clear we had to go in but I'm not quite done yet all right I'm calling this the Brad Keselowski don't speed on pit road challenge if we speed the videos over oh no. damn it no man
Oh man, they're showing us a black flag. Looks like they caught it speeding on pit road. I tell you what, if you guys like and subscribe, maybe I won't go play jump rope in the nearest four-way intersection. Maybe. No promises.